Whoa, 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 this is the best PlayStation Plus lineup in a while. Let's discuss all the games in this video. Let me know which one you are going to play in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Leading the Pact is one of my favorite PS4 exclusives ever until dawn just your typical teenagers in a horror house setting but because of the beautiful graphics, awesome choice you can make and the story is this a totally must play game. Oh and it also got some good actors like Rami Malek and you know that guy from Mr. Robot. Be warned though for the many jump scares. As for the Metacritic it got a 79 on that website but I would personally rate it higher. Another heavy story focused game that changes according to your choices is the Game of Thrones game from Telltale for the PS4 as well. Of course the new season of Game of Thrones is starting in the middle of July so that's probably why they are giving away this Telltale game to get you invested in the franchise again. The Game of Thrones Telltale series has a completely different story than the TV show but you still see like characters that you know and love from the TV show but you control the Forrester family. Who will live, who will die, if you know the Telltale games then of course you know that you decide what happens. Game of Thrones Telltale game got a 69 on Metacritic. Another PS4 game that is pretty cool and that I played at E3 2017 is That's You and that's part of the new PlayLink line where you play the game with your phone. This is a party game, all the players make a selfie that then appear on the screen and then questions come up like share your opinion on for example who you think is the worst driver and then the people that chose the most popular answer got the points. Then there are also jokers to increase those points and more challenges like take a picture of someone that is pretending to be in a car and then the other people have to draw on it, something like that. If you got people around I should totally check it out. For the PS3 we got Tokyo Jungle and that's a Studio Japan game where animals have taken over Tokyo. The game features 50 playable animals that all want to survive and they do that by killing other animals via some sort of a hack and slash style of gameplay and you can also form a pact with multiple animals. It looks really weird and sadly this is only on the PS3. It got a 74 on Metacritic. Another PS3 game is Darkstalkers Resurrection and that's a 2D fighting game with a cartoony art style featuring a weird selection of characters like Little Red Riding Hood and a freaking Pharaoh guy. And way more as you see in the trailer right now. It got an 80 on Metacritic so that's the highest for this PlayStation Plus lineup. That's pretty good. For Vita, the first game is also cross by with PS4 as well, so you can play on both platforms. And that one is called Don't Die, Mr. Robot, where you are like a thing with eyes and a mouth. And you need to collect exploding fruit to get a high score and stay alive as long as possible. It got a 76 on Metacritic. More side scrolling guide, then you might like Elemental, written with a 4, where you are a cube and need to get through the level using the environment. It got a 77 on Metacritic. So, so there you have it, the full PlayStation Plus lineup of July 2017. Like I said, a pretty good lineup, especially if you count like Until Dawn. I mean, that's a must play game, you totally should check it out. I'm not a horror guy myself, but even like with someone next to me, I really, really had a great time with that one. So totally check that one out. Um, never played the Game of Thrones one, but I think that if you like Game of Thrones, you should like that as well. And that Dark uh, Stalker's Resurrection also seems to be pretty cool. Subscribe to stay up to date on the latest PS4 news including the PlayStation Plus updates. Of course do it every time. Again let me know which game you are going to play in the comments down below and don't forget to hit that like button. Goodbye, thanks for watching.